Dear Jess, here's something that the Catalan folk get excited about when visiting their mountains, the Pyrenees. Arroz de montaña, a mountain rice with wild mushrooms, rabbit and pork infused with herbs. Just the job for the bitter winter months up here. Though right now the snows are melting under the early spring sun, so I'd better get a move on. I head north out of Barcelona, following the Llobregat River to the 5 km Cadí Tunnel, re-emerging in the scenic mountainous region of La Cerdaña. Half in Spain, half in France, as it predates the modern national border, which cut it almost exactly in half. As ever, I'm keen to try the dish before cooking it myself. Beautifully executed here at the Caleudalt restaurant in the village of Alp. So, pork ribs, chicken and rabbit. Dried mushrooms which are soaked for an hour in water or in the stock used in the dish. These are in Catalan bolets, boletas, penny bun, porcini, seps, which are all the same, I believe. In any case, any cultivated or wild mushroom can be used. Use fresh if available. All importantly, the liver from the rabbit or the chicken. Chopped pork rib on the bone. Here's a whole one which won't be needed. And optionally, some thin Catalan sausage. Any smallish pork sausage is fine. Some peas, onions, red and green peppers and tomato. This is pimenton de la vera, mild Spanish paprika. Regular paprika is fine, though nothing too hot. You'll find a link for this pepper powder in the description. Spanish short-grained paella rice, white wine optionally, and chicken stock. All the meats, except the liver, are chopped into small dice and fried in a jolly good slug of olive oil that generously covers the bottom of the pan. The meats and the liver are fried swiftly until golden, seasoning as you go. The meats are removed and finely diced onion, green and red pepper are gently sweated in the same flavorful oil. A tomato is grated like so and added, but only once the vegetables are really soft. Give them a good 10 minutes over low heat. Essential for the typical Catalan vegetable base called sofregite is this gentle slow cooking that adds intensity of flavor to countless Catalan preparations. So now the tomato pulp is added, along with a pinch of the pimenton pepper powder. And again, left to do its own thing very gently until almost dry, really, really quite jammy. Next in go the peas, the strained mushrooms, and the fried meats. Toss all this around on a fairly high heat for a couple of minutes. and then a splash of white wine is reduced right down. 100 grams of rice per person is the standard measure. Two large fistfuls for this recipe for two. The rice is stirred around to pick up all the flavors and coat each grain in oil. Now boiling stock is poured over. Give the pan a quick stir just to even things out, then leave well alone at a fairly strong boil for seven to eight minutes, checking the broth for seasoning at this stage. Meanwhile, chop up the liver, a clove of garlic, and a little parsley, and then bash it up in a mortar to form a fine paste. Dilute this with a drop of water or wine so it can be easily stirred into the rice. This is known as a picada, of which there are many versions, and is used to add a final kick of flavor to slowly cooked dishes. Now press down the herbs into the rice and again leave well alone for another 7 to 8 minutes for a total of 15 or 16 minutes cooking. Now if the rice should dry up before it's done, add a drop of boiling stock or water. Not cold as constant heat is crucial to Spanish rice cookery. 
Once done, be sure to cover and allow to rest for five minutes. I do hope you're inspired to give this classic rice dish from the elevated northern Catalan regions, including Andorra, a try. This seasonal, hearty mountain rice is bursting with earthy mushroom flavour, with delicate aromas from the thyme and rosemary, all brought together with the intense Catalan sofregit vegetable base. Just superb. If not already subscribed to Pete's Pans, go ahead and do so, so as not to miss any of the regular instalments of thoroughly researched, highly authentic local dishes from the back roads of France, Spain and Portugal. Hasta pronto.